Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your Apptrepreneur and hashtag politics. And of course, Uber. So, um, I don't know if you've heard of it, but there is a rapper out there called Made in TYO, born Malcolm Jamal Davis. Um, he's a rapper, not a genre I typically listen to. Um, can't really say I've even really listened to him before this news story hit, but he had a little viral hit called Uber Everywhere. And because of the recent, you know, delete Uber um, movement, if, if it's a movement, like that's debatable at this point, they have asked, um, well, do you still Uber Everywhere? And he tweeted, Lyft Everywhere. So, yep, there's that. Um, and then at one point, he was quoted saying, I don't naturally jump into all the political stuff or speak too much on it because I feel like I have to educate myself more. But as a rapper, I know that I have this voice and I felt like I was obligated to speak out because of my fans. He tells Billboard of his decision to side with Uber competitor Lyft. I woke up that morning to see the hashtag delete Uber and to this day, Uber everywhere is a record everyone still wants to hear from me. So I had to speak on Uber. I didn't realize how much of a voice I had until I spoke on it. He continued, I know a lot of people are hurt by the ban. I'm at a blessed point in my life, so I just want to message my fans and say, look, you're not the only ones out here, or if nobody else cares, Maiden TYO cares. He continues, it was the perfect time for me to let these kids know that, yeah, I got the song, but I'm not rocking with Uber. Okay, uh, well, you know what? Um, Maiden TYO. Uh, you're perfectly free to use Lyft. In fact, I encourage you to use Lyft. Um, I think Lyft being a little bigger than Uber for a little while might actually be good for um, for all of us. But you do realize Uber didn't do anything wrong, right? Uh, you do realize that um, Lyft was picking up passengers at the airport just like Uber was when the taxi drivers decided to strike. Uh, <laughs> you know that the... That Travis Kalanick has stepped down from the Trump advisory board, but that one of the Lyft investors is still on it, right? Uh, you might have a voice, but I, I don't know if you're actually doing your research. So that's just a little quick news video. Um, in terms of, well, I guess the grand scheme of things, it's not very inconsequential. So maybe this will just be a throwaway video. Um, what do you folks think of the news? Do you even care? Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.